Good morning. Good morning, my viewers and my subscriber. It is your boy Bonnie again. I am here to have another little talk with you. Now, my viewers and my subscriber, I always said if it is your first time coming across this channel, thank you, thank you very much for stopping by. If you like the contents that I'm producing, remember to give the video a thumbs up, like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Also, hit the notification bell and you don't miss any video that goes up. Okay, what am I talking about today? Today is the second day of 20. 23 and I am talking about change today change the year of change we are no longer in 2022 that is past and gone it's change so basically what I'm saying here <clears throat> I want you to understand me clearly I'm gonna try and talk slow that you can understand me this is my bible i'm not talking about my bible right now i'm talking about change and as i said what change now is the here it used to have 20 22 that is no longer in existence that's gone no, it said 2023. So that too changed from 2 to 3. So, what do you, my viewers, my subscriber, what do you change in your situation, in your life? This is what I want to talk about this morning. Because we're talking about the here that changed from 2022 to 2023. But my belief is we as a person need to change something as well in our situation. Let us look back into our life right now this morning the second day of 2023 so which is january 2nd let us look back into our life right now see what we used to do in 2022 and ask yourself the question what can i change in 2023 that my life not the same as 2022 look into yourself ask yourself the question could i do better in 2023 than what i've done in 2022 the question is a lot of us in life we grew up as big people like myself and I look into my life and I say, if I could go back as a child, I would change this, I will change that, and I will change that. My situation here, I'm talking now, but I am looking back into my life as a child. And there's things in my life that if I could go back as a child right now, I would change a lot of things that I've done in my youthful days. My sisters and brother, we... We have the privilege right now, this morning, to make change in our life for 2023. Look into yourself right now and ask yourself the question. In 2022, I've done this. If I have only done it this way, I would have better off today. The my friend who I keep, if I never have those friends in my life, in 2022, I would have better off today. 
Ask yourself, Christian, my brothers and sisters. Sit down right now. Search your life back. And ask yourself, Christian, do I want to sit down in this lifestyle? Do I want to sit down in this type of job? Do I want to hang around this type of friend? Do they help me? Do they drag me down? Do I want to still smoke in weed with my friend them? Is it help me? Do I still want to go party? You know, what, what it is doing for me? My brothers and my sisters, I'm talking to somebody today. I don't know who I'm talking to. But I know I waste a lot of time in my life when I was growing up. When I should be in school, I was running up and down with friend. 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 Somebody friend them that I run up and down with. Some of them go to prison. Some of them die. But because of the grace of God, I am still here today. And at the time I asked myself question, I said, I don't even know what God seen me. Why did he save my life so much time? I was a sinner. I was out there doing manner of evil of things. But God still sees something in me. And that's why God gave me the privilege and the opportunity that I am here today, 2023. Look into your life, my sisters and brother. Look into your life. See what you have been through in life and how much time your life could have wiped away. But God give you a chance that you wake up this morning, 2023, alive. You are not sick. There is people in the hospital this morning can't turn in their bed. There is people going through knife operation right now. There is some people even at home going through pain. Look at you. This morning, 2023, look at you. You are healthy. You are strong. But you are still wasting time. Come on. Let's stop waste time. Precious time. God give us precious time. Come on. Let us make a change. I'm talking about change. Let's make change for 2023. It could be a job. It could be a wife. It could be a girlfriend. It could be your children. Whatever situation, make change. Come on. Do you want to live in the same drag down, drag down situation that you've been living all your life? Are you decided to look into your life and say, you know what? Enough is enough. I am not living this life anymore. I'm giving up everything for 2023. I'm going to walk a new road. I'm going to walk a new pathway. I'm going to think different. I'm going to live a different lifestyle. Come on. I take that choice to walk away from sinful things. Walk away from dark place. I make that change. My life is better. Come on, take that step with me. 2023, take that step. Tell yourself, I am tired. I am sick of waking up in the morning wondering what am I going to eat? What am I going to wear? How am I going to pay my rent? How am I going to buy shopping for my children? I am sick and tired of this type of lifestyle. The job that I'm going to, I wake up in the morning and I don't want to go to the job because the job is so stressful. Come on, get down on your knee. Get down on your knee. Talk to Jesus. Tell him all about your trouble. He will hear and understand. 
Jesus said in his word, he said, Hax, Hax, and it shall be given to you. He said, Knock, and it shall be opened. He said, Seek, and ye shall find. Jesus wants to help you. Jesus wants to deliver you. Jesus wants to set you free. And that's why he said, Ask, and it shall be given unto you. If you don't ask, my brother, if you don't ask, my sister, it's not going to come. Ask. Jesus said, Ask. Go down on your knee. If you don't want to go down on your knee, sit down and bow your head before him. Sincerely from your heart, cry out to God. Tell him your trouble. Tell him your situation. Tell him your problem. Tell him all your financial situation. If you're sick, go down on your knee. Bow down to God and tell him, say, God, enough is enough. Enough is enough. I am going through this sickness too long. I can't bear it anymore. Jesus is waiting. He wants to deliver you. You know your situation. God wants to deliver you. God wants to set you free. God wants to set you free. But he's waiting on you to make that first step. If you don't make that step, Jesus not going to do it for you. That's why he said, Hax, and it shall be given to you. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. Seek, and he shall find. So, once you come to him, and he said, Jesus, this is so simple, so simple. You come to him, and he said, Jesus, I am a sinner. I am a sinner. I am struggling for so long. I can't bear this no more. I want to make a change. This is 2023. I am tired. I am tired of poverty. I am tired. I can't find food to put on the table for my children. I am tired of going around and borrow from Tom, Dick and Harry to survive in life. The job I'm in. I don't want to go. It's so stressful. You know what? God wants you to start up your own business. But you are too coward to step out. You are too coward to step out. But go down on your knee. Tell God your situation. Tell God your problem. I am talking to somebody this morning. I come here this morning. And all I come was to talk about is change. Just change. But you know something? God probably wants you to hear more. So, again, look into your life. Simply, look into your life. And ask yourself, Christian, what can I change from 2022 into 2023 how can i make that change into 2023 how can my life becomes easier in 2023 this is simple question and the step for that it is you it is you i can't do it your mother, your father, your sister, your brother, your auntie, your cousin, none of them can't do it. You have to do it. Remember I said, nobody in your family or your friend cannot change your life for better. You have to make that decision to change your life. To make your life easier and your life better. And the only way to do that is to ask yourself, Christian, how can I make that step? Let me tell you something right now before I close this. Remember, there is light 
and there is darkness. There is night and there is day. If you live in the darkness, then you cannot see clearly where you're going. You need light to go. And if you're doing things that is not right, now look into your life, you know. If you're doing things in your life and you know within your own self that this that I'm doing is wrong before the sight of man and God, this is wrong. If you have to do something where you have to look behind you and hide, it is wrong. That means you're living in the darkness. That's why you hide. Anything that you have to do and hide, you're living in darkness. And that is one of the things that you need to change. Yes, you need to change that. Once you can do something openly, where you know that this is right, this is the right thing to do. Listen, I'm telling you, that is the first step for change. Live right, do right, speak right, show love to one another, even to your children. The next one is forgiveness. Let me tell you something right now. Unforgiveness. It don't matter what you're going through. If you don't forgive, your life not going anywhere. Unforgiveness will heat out everything inside of you. It makes you bitter. It makes you hungry. Unforgiveness can kill you. Unforgiveness can give you pain, back pain, headache, name it. Unforgiveness can cripple you because we're carrying things inside our us that not supposed to be dear. And sometimes we feel sick and we think I'm sick, I'm sick. But there's things inside of us that we need to let go. Jesus wants we to let go that he can release us. Yes, Lord. I don't come to... God, you know why. My sisters and brother, I'm just coming here this morning just to talk about change. But if anything have touched you and you want to make a change of your life for 2023, I urge you to seek God. Make decision. Wise decision. Come out of the dark and go into the light, which is love, peace, kindness, gentleness. Everything must be on a neutral ground. You can't have hatred in your bitterness backbiting not speaking to your loved one you know there's so much things that can drag us down and sometimes we're going through life and we wonder why am I struggling so much in life but because there's things that we need to let go of and we're holding on to them but all I want to say today to God be the glory I'm glad when I make that change and walk out of darkness into light. Accept Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. I can sit here this morning and say, I am not working. I don't want anybody anything. Because God has opened doors for me. When doors close. When I have no way to sleep. When I have no money in the bank. God make a way. And I can sit here this morning to tell you my sisters and brother. I am not working. I have no debt on my hand. I'm mortgage free because Jesus Christ done it for me. God want to do the same thing for you. All I'm saying to you, just ask. Ask and receive. God bless you. God keep you. God guide you. God protect you. Through 2023 20, and beyond. Ask and receive.
in Jesus' name. God bless you. Make a change. Thank you. God bless you.